This is half inch schedule 40 PVC pipe. And these are some camera rigs I made out of it. You can see all these fittings that go together and can create a handheld camera rig. Gives you the ability to hold the camera like this or like this. I never really finished because I wasn't really happy with the design. I think this is the one I want to go with instead of this house, birdhouse looking design. But it gave me some mounting points and I just used bicycle handle grips. Let me know if you'd be interested to see more of this. I rented some video equipment recently and it came with these lenses inside these cool PVC storage units. Basically, you just put a little bit of padding inside the PVC, get one of these toppers here, put the lens in with some padding, put the little topper on, turn it and it tightens that up and now your lens is secure inside this protective case. And the cool thing is because PVC comes in different sizes, you can pack up all your different size lenses. I thought this was a really cool idea and one to share with you. So if you're gonna ship some lenses, this might be an option. seen these before? Hernard's 3D title letters. Listen to them. I think they're made out of like ceramic or something. These little letters are used to make titles. Yes, titles. Now check this out. You take the letters and you stick them on a piece of glass. Now there's other ways to do this, but I'm going to show you this way. You put something behind the glass to line up your letters and stick them on. Then you have your letters on the glass and you stick it in front of your film camera. I don't think I mentioned that these are the way you make titles on home movies on film, just like this. So here's an example of how you can do it. You can move the title out of the way, have your shot, cool little sound effect, have it jump cut, titles come on, and then they go away. How cool is that? There's other ways you can use these letters. You could just lay them out on a blank screen like this to make your title, or you can just set them up and have them actually be practical titles in your shot. Nowadays, it's much easier to get digital titles, but these vintage letters are really cool and you can find them on eBay. So I got these glasses on eBay. These are pinhole glasses and I painted the fronts of them chroma key green because I thought if you're streaming and you want mirror glasses, you could reflect whatever you want virtually with green screen. So let's try it out. Here we go. Boom. There's some green screen. Let's actually, let's take, ooh, we got to bring the brightness down. There we go. A little bit better. So now you can see exactly what I'm watching. Or if you're playing a video game, you could have the control panel of the game reflecting in here maybe. I don't know, these are just ideas, what do you think? This is just your basic cheap boom mic extension arm. But this specific one, which I linked in the description, comes with all kinds of stuff, check this out. Look at all this stuff. You have your basic boom mic setup, which is this and this, metal, this is metal. But here's the main things, look at these. Mic adapter and then this clip mic adapter, which I have one of these and I use it all the time. This will hold your Zoom H1, any other mic. It can hold flags or filters. It has a removable adapter so you can adapt it to different sizes. This thing comes with a metal ball head, phone adapter, and these little bad boys right here. Mic stand connectors. This turns your mic stand into a quarter 20 adapter. And then this little adapter lets you extend it to different sizes. All this stuff in one little package. I put the link in the description. It's worth checking out if you're interested or in the market for a top-down camera, microphone extension, or anything. My nephew made me this little adjustable arm strap. Pretty cool. Anyways, I wanted to show you something with packing your camera equipment. If you're a photographer, a videographer, this is a quick trick quick tip that can really help you save a lot of drama in your life. Basically, I like to put all my zippers centered and you can see here what's happening. You see how that one's kind of working its way apart? What happens is if you zip your camera bags to the end like this, as you're carrying them over time, I've had it happen where these have a tendency of opening up slightly and things can fall out. 
So I would recommend if you're packing up your gear, center all your zippers so you can do a quick test, quick check, and make sure nothing's falling out of your camera bag. Just a quick tip, hope that helps. If I was gonna recommend a vintage video camera, I would recommend this Panasonic, it's the SDR S7. And this is what it looks like. This is coming directly from the camera. The amount of work involved with getting this in this response is a whole other video in itself. But anyways, you can at least see what the actual camera looks like. And the reason I love it so much is that it records directly to an SD card, but still has a vintage quality to it. So if you're trying to capture a vintage looking authentic video that's easy to work with, this camera offers that. And it's super small too. It's got the a lot of cool features to it. I'll have to do another video if you want to see it. Let me know in the comments. Here's a little trick to adjust your height simply by moving your camera. So right now the camera is above my face and here it's low looking up. Now here's how it can affect your height. This is what you look like when the camera's up higher than your head. And this is what it looks like when the camera's lower. So whether you want to look tall or short, simply lowering or raising the camera can Make that happen. Did you know that Lego made a video camera? Yes, a video camera. This little camera will shoot video and photos and has a macro setting on the front. This is what this camera looks like and this is what it sounds like. Not too bad for 2009. Okay, maybe it's pretty bad for 2009, but it's pretty cool that it's Lego. The unique features of this camera is that it has Lego pieces on it so other parts can be attached. It lets you zoom and take photos and has a tripod mount along with more Lego pieces to make whatever type of Lego tripod you would like. I'm trying to see the name of this shirt. There it is. What does it say? Cool? And it is pretty cool, and here's why. Check this out. It's got its own lens cleaner cloth. What? I wanted to invent that. I had this experiment I wanted to try. You know, with instant photos, you want to cover the photo so it doesn't fade. I took two pictures at the exact same time. This one has not seen the day of light, light of day. And this one has been exposed the whole time in this shaded overhang. And it kind of has like an amber look, so it looks like it is slightly faded. But let's see what the other photo looks like that has not been exposed to any light. Okay, interesting. I do see a definite color difference. Let's try it one more time just to be sure. We took another photo. So here it is. These do look similar, like in that shade. Let's see what the one that hasn't been exposed to light looks like. Oh, interesting. There is a slight difference, but it's not enough to know for sure. And I guess these do have a color shift, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And hey, Chris, thanks for the camera. We took a video of my phone spinning and one what one direction <laughs> and then we're playing the video of uh, and his the, now the phone's spinning the other direction it looks like the face is staying so in 2010 samson technology released one of its smallest portable recorders to date the zoom h1 handy recorder. Let me go over some of the features. This thing had a built-in 90 degree XY stereo microphone, stereo 1 8 inch line mic input, and a line output, the dedicated volume control. It had a built-in reference speaker, a backlit LCD screen, and recorded to a micro SD card up to 32 gigabytes. It supported 24-bit wave files and multiple mp3 files had a quarter 20 tripod mount it ran on one standard AA battery up to 10 hours on that battery the usb port could be used to make the microphone into a stereo usb microphone and best of all it was less than a hundred dollars which in 2010 was an amazing deal it's been over 10 years since the release of the zoom h1 recorder and it's been discontinued and replaced with the zoom h1n but this original handy recorder still gets so much use and will continue to get used until I drop it and break it, probably.
2008, there was a little software called Polardroid, the easiest, funniest Polaroid maker. This little software allows you to drag an image to it, like this, drop it, and it takes a picture. And just like a real Polaroid, you have to wait for it to develop. A cool feature of this application, if you want it to be underexposed, you can take a sample anytime before it's complete and it'll save a picture of that picture during the process. And the developed pictures come out with a border around them just like a real Polaroid. And they look really authentic. Only problem is you need Windows XP to run it. This website, hotpot.ai, colorizes black and white photos, but I was curious, what will it do with a color photo? I'm gonna make the color photo black and white first, though, and I really just wanted to see a comparison, how it colorizes this photo compared to the originals. So let's check it out. The website's pretty straightforward. You just upload your image, and you can choose different colorization factors. I only chose the default. I didn't have to wait 10 minutes either, so it did it pretty quickly, and here's the results. Interesting, it turned the shirt purple. And you can see here, it did some pretty good job there with the bricks in the background. And compared to the color photo, you can see this is the color and this is the colorized. Pretty neat, it gives it a unique look for sure. And I'm impressed that it kind of figured out that that's a yellow truck back there. So that's pretty neat how that works. But I don't know, that's a cool experiment. If you wanted to mess around, try to get some cool effects on your photos, that's one way to do it. You could check out that little website. Just finished filming, and just in case you're wondering, hey man, Naptop, where do you get all that cool equipment? Well, it's not all cool. Some of it is very DIY, like this thing, a little table light on top of that. That's how you get a backlight. What do you think about that? There's a little something. The reason I'm standing here in the dark is because I want to show you my new little sling pack. Well, it's actually a backpack, but I'll talk about that in a second. This thing looks pretty boring until you hit the lights. Boom, that is not a camera effect. That is a reflective coating that's on this backpack. Switching between the light on and off, you can really see how this thing reflects and it just has such a cool colorful look to it, I love it. And like I said, it's a sling bag or it's a backpack. It's a small size, it's versatile, and it's gonna fit my cameras perfectly. No batteries required. Huh? And when the lights go out, it just goes back to being a dark, normal backpack. My good friend loves Suikoden. I've never played the game, but he's always talking about it. This is Ryu, one of his favorite characters. Ryu uses these. These are Tomfa, and I thought that would be a great gift to make some handmade Tomfas. That's me holding them. These are the ones I made. Built the handles like this, cut the wood like that, and now we gotta make these metal end caps. I made the templates out of paper, traced those onto sheet metal, cut the sheet metal. I don't know why I made these out of metal. I wanted to make it as realistic as possible. Folded that metal, got it all ready, and there's the final results. I added these little brads to hold it all in place even though it's not exactly like what it looks like in the pictures in the video game these are the handles drilled the holes set it up and glued it and finished it all up and did this all in my kitchen they turned out really great i set it all up and sent it out to them that is pretty freaking amazing <laughs>